the last question we have for this week is um someone was asking i thought it was an interesting answer you gave to them mike where someone was asking if in, under the trading window settings, is there a way to set the hours um, so that only open you can only open a position during that window, mm -hmm. uh, but that you can still close it outside of that window? Yeah, I think this might need to be an enhancement we make. But yeah. in theory, the if if you have opened a position within the trading window and you attach a stop loss or a take profit to that, and that is now with the broker, it will still execute outside of the trading window. So if you set your trading window from like 10 a.m. to 12, 12 p.m. Eastern time, you open a position within that window, you have a stop that's well below. And in the in the second half of the session, that order executes at 1.30 p.m., it's still going to execute, right? We're not going to block that on the broker side. That's that's with the broker. But if you wanted to send a second signal to exit that and it's outside of the trading window, currently we reject that. So the, the question is, should we always accept exit signals outside of trading uh, windows. And that might be something we look at. Improving. Like maybe a, a checkbox on the trading windows that says like sure. allow exits or something yep. like that. Allow exits outside of window. Yeah, yeah that'd yeah. be cool. It's definitely something useful. It's always fascinating this idea. And it's what I love about programming where you go, okay, there's all kind, you, you can essentially build everything that you need um, or that can be built, let's say on the strategy side, on the uh, trading view side. And then you can have a bunch of things like within Trader Suppose, and then you can have a bunch of things that are executing at the broker side. And then you can sort of like decide what parts need to be done where. Mm -hmm. And that gives a little, you know, some granularity to to the strategy. And you know, out of the box, someone might think, well, I don't want I don't want that. Like you think you think of all the different options for me, choose the best ones and make sure that that happens the way it, it needs to in an intuitive way to me. But then as you start developing strategies, you start realizing, no, these this granularity actually provides me with more flexibility to create things that uh, uh, that I need. It's, it's, a, it's a fine line to walk. I, I was originally, when I first built Trader Suppose, I like, had it in my head that I didn't want to allow like any filters or any controls or, or limited amount of controls on the traders post side. Um, Cause it kind of, it, it separates your logic. Like you have some logic in the strategy and then you have some logic on the traders post side and you're running your back test against your strategy with one set of logic. And then you apply this other set of logic on traders post. And like, now you're running an entirely different strategy. Um, you know, so I, I personally, like if, you know, if it were me, I would try to do as much as possible on the, on the strategy side to avoid, um, doing something different. Um, but you know, some people aren't using strategies, they're using indicators, like they're finding indicators on the internet and they don't have access to the pine script and they just kind of want to like piece together this stuff. And I kind of changed my mind and my view about it. Uh, you know, we just want to provide the tools, uh, like a tool belt for people and people can decide how they want to use that tool belt. Yeah, we have a, there's a ton of flexibility with the traders post environment in terms of where you make trading decisions. And some of that can be split up along the journey. Some of the trading decisions are in trading view. Some of the trading decisions are in traders post. And then arguably there's additional trading decisions within the broker. If there's like margin requirements or you're up against some limit of some kind, uh, and so because of that flexibility, there's a ton of upside to how you can create some rules along the way. It's just harder to diagnose and debug as your trade makes its way through the top of the funnel to the bottom of the funnel. Yeah. The more moving pieces, the more ways that stuff can go wrong. Right. There's a, I, there's, I think it was Elon Musk. He had a quote about like the best part is no part. You know, and like when you're building a system, like if you can eliminate something entirely from a system and still get the same result, then that system is better. Um, so like in general, try to like figure out a way to have the same or equal similar functionality uh, with like 95% of the benefit without all the additional moving pieces. Sure. Well, I guess from that perspective, we should also lean into his obsession over first principles and just tear everything out. Start from the ground up. We'll become a broker ourselves and, and we'll have AI generate everything for you. 